got rich out of the bag I just wanna fight with the bag I just wanna hop in the bag Just me and my boo in the bag Alright yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Q I'm back again with another video for you guys I'm sorry I missed a lot of the days on the schedule. I was trying to figure a lot of stuff out. So I finally figured out how to record with audio in Pro Tools into OBS, which took me so long to figure out. So that's one thing. And that's going to help out a lot because now I'll be able to do tutorials on my vocal mixing within Pro Tools and the template that I actually use when I comp and engineer vocals for artists. And then I was also just setting up my website and just getting some stuff finished, which is finally live now. So if you head over to quintinbaba.com, you go check it out for yourself and see everything that's on there. Before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, just so you can stay up to date with what I'm doing and everything else, maybe my upload schedule. And I just post a lot of stuff on there. Before I tell you guys what we're going to be doing today, go ahead and hit that like button for me. That really helps just push my videos out to other people that actually want to see vocal mixing videos and beat making videos and also hit that subscribe button because i'm trying to hit 10k very soon and if we could do that i have something very special planned for you guys so stay tuned for that yeah without any further ado let's get into this video So as you guys can already tell from the title of the video, today we're actually going to be learning how to make your vocals sound like Sofago and kind of like that Mr. Rage vibe. So I'm going for anything that you might hear like Ty Fontaine, Sofago, kind of like Trippy Red, like Playboy Cardi type style where that it's like that baby voice, like Rage style beats. And basically what I did here is I just made an FL Studio template for you guys to use that you could get the same effect and you could sound exactly like how I'm going to sound. And I'll show you guys right here. So if you head over to my website, you can see that there's multiple options when you purchase this. There is an FL Studio stock plugin one. There's an FL Studio Waves plugin one. And with this one, if you were to purchase one, you're going to need the Waves plugin suite. And then the Fab Filter bundle. Really, all you need is the Fab Filter Pro Q3, though. And then there's also a Pro Tools version, which you need the same. Which you need the same thing. You need the Waves bundle. You need the Fab Filter Pro Q3. You need Valhalla for the Valhalla Vintage Reverb. And then Effect Rack, which I use for delay. But you could always swap that reverb and delay out with something else. But yeah, just make sure you pay attention to which plugins you actually need, depending on which preset you buy. Like I said, there should be something available for every one of you, though. Like I said, there is an FL Studio stock preset one. And this one right here is actually the Waves one. But like I said, the way the stock FL Studio preset does the exact same thing. All right, so this is how I have the mixer track set up in this preset. So basically the template is just going to be an FL Studio file for you guys to open. And you have this track or you have this mixer slate right here called record here. And it has this chain on it. And this chain is the same right here. But the only reason I have two separate ones is because... I prefer to record on a track and set everything up. And then once everything's set, I'll just copy this over. Save mix track slat as, slate as, and I'll just bring it over here once I have everything set on this track. Because you're going to want to set everything first just because this will change on everyone's mic based on how high you have the preamp set. So for example, I have mine set really high right now. So the threshold is going to be compressing my voice a lot if I already use it. But anyways, enough talking. Let me just show you guys how this actually works. So basically what you would do, you'd go to this record track and you'd go right here as long as you have your microphone set into your computer. And as you can see, I have the Scarlett 2 i2. So I'm going to go to input one where my mic is plugged in. But you guys would just find your mic. It'll be listed here somewhere. And as soon as I click this, I'll be able to hear my voice with all of the effects. So I'm going to do that. And now you can tell that you hear all the effects, specifically the auto tune, the reverb and the delay. But yeah, also make sure you set this little knob right here that says pre to post. Basically what that does is when you set it to post, it'll make sure that the effects don't actually print to the actual vocal. And you don't want that just in case you mess something up and you want to turn the reverb down a little bit. Then you don't have to go back and re-record it. You could just adjust it on the actual track. So yeah, I'll go over the chain real quick for you guys. So basically all we have here is the Waves Auto-Tune which you could use any auto-tune you like. I usually prefer this one. If you don't have the Waves auto-tune, you could always just use the stock FL Studio Pitcher. Then I have a DSer right here, which just takes some of that like harsh high-end frequencies and a lot of the sibilance out. And your sibilance is basically anything that kind of sounds like tss, 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 something like that. Then we have our first compressor, which is the R comp, and this is just shaping the, the initial vocal. So I have the release set pretty high and the attack set to a medium with a 3.65 ratio. Then we have our first EQ, which is just a subtractive EQ for the most part. But there is a little added high end in the back here. 
basically what this EQ is doing is just making the sounds that I actually want to hear come out a little bit more or a little less. Next up, we got this SL SSL channel from Waves, and basically this is just another EQ, but each EQ has their own sound, and I really like the way this one sounds. So in this one, I'm basically bringing a lot of the high end up a little bit right here, some of the high mids, bringing those low mids down a tiny bit, and then some of those low frequencies down even more. And we have my favorite compressor right here, the CLA-76, also by Waves. And basically we have another uh, pretty medium attack and a quick release set right here with the ratio set at eight. And what this compressor does is it really squashes the vocal and it really brings that loudness. Next up, we got this Puig Tech EQ. And basically I just really like the way this EQ sounds as well. I notice a lot of engineers tend to use this, a lot of like older head engineers, but I still like it a lot. And basically what we're doing here is boosting a little bit of the low frequencies and then uh, just bringing up some of the high frequencies as well. And there's also, I believe a little compression in here. And then to finish it off, I actually just have another de-esser and the reason I end my mix with another de-esser is because with all of these EQs and compressors, a lot of the time some of that high end might sneak back in and that sibilance might start coming out and cutting through the mix again. We don't want that to happen obviously. So I got that de-esser to finish it off. Just to make sure none of that actually happens. And then over here we have our two sends. We have our reverb send and our delay send and the way this works is you want to add more reverb or more delay. You'll click on your track where your actual vocal is routed to so for example say it's say your vocal is routed to this record here track right here you'd go over here and say you want more reverb you'll just bring this knob up or down depending on how much reverb you want added or taken out and same with the delay and also i literally just have the fruity reverb on here right now but you could replace this with any reverb you want and just an eq to make sure any of that muddiness doesn't come through the mix then as well as the delay you can replace this with anything you want i just have it set to the fruity delay too all right so i just went through showed you the whole chain uh showed you what every plugin is but i'm sure you guys want to hear how it sounds so let's, let's do that so to actually record like i said you're going to go ahead and set your input i'm going to do this one right here input one now we can hear my voice again then you want to hit this record button right here as well so it's already set and it should do that as soon as you set your input, but just make sure that's on. Then all you have to do is go to your playlist. I'm gonna bring a beat in here. Usually I bring my beat down a little bit, down to the bottom, just to get it out of the way. Set the BPM. And another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set the auto tune. I know this beat is in C minor, which I already have it set, C natural minor. And then you could chord. So one thing you wanna do is, like I said, this is kinda of like that rage style. So you wanna get that baby voice, you wanna get that, Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go! So, so yeah, you really actually gotta put some effort into sounding like that. You can't just go super monotone, you gotta put some passion into it. Yeah, we call that passion! <clears throat> I just got rich out of the bag I just wanna fight with the bag I told her hop in the bag I told her hop in the bag I just got rich out of the bag I just wanna fight with the bag I told her hop in the bag Just me and my boo in the bag all right so that took a little minute but uh, i just did some like ins and outs right here and this is what we got so yeah this is uh exactly what the vocal template will get you so i hope you guys do enjoy but this is what it sounds like oh yeah oh yeah let's go let's go I just wanna fight with a bag. I told her hop in the bag. Just me and my boo in the bag. I just got rich out of the bag. I just wanna fight with a bag. I told her hop in the bag. Just me and my boo in the bag. So yeah, super simple. I didn't really do too much there. Like I said, I literally did four bars and just duplicated it over. But yeah, so basically, uh, I'll just try and explain a little bit more to you guys. So basically, what I did here is we have this little intro part right here. It's just routed to the main vocal, which is right here. This is the main track. This is the ad lib. I actually changed the name of it, but you get all three of these. But anyways, this is the main vocal, like I said, and this is where this is routed to, which sounds like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then we have the ad libs right here, which sound like this. Yeah. And that's just uh, a little bit of EQ and an imager. Then we have the main vocal, which is routed, like I said, to track number two, which is the main vocal track. 
Sounds like this. I just got rich out the bag. I just wanna fight with a bag. But then I did some ad libs, and these are routed to track three, which is the ad lib track, and together they sound like this. I just got rich out the bag. I just wanna fight with a bag. I and yeah, like I said, it's super simple. Like that's literally all you have to do: record the vocals, have the beat in there, and you're literally set. Let's listen to that one more time. I just wanna fight with a bag. I just wanna hop in the bag. Just me and my boo in the bag. I just gotta reach out the bag. I just wanna fight with a bag. I just wanna hop in the bag. Just me and my boo in the bag. Yeah, guys, that is all I got for you in this video. So I do hope you enjoyed. If you did or if you learned anything at all, hit that like button for me. Like I said, it really helps push this video to other people that actually want to see this. Also, make sure you subscribe because like I said, I'm trying to hit 10K soon. And once we do hit that, I got something super special for you guys. Yeah, if you're interested in getting this template, you know where to go. QuintonBobbit.com. Follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. I just got rich out the bag. I just wanna fight with a bag. I just wanna hop in the bag. Just me and my boo in the bag. I just got rich out the bag. I just wanna fight with a bag. I just wanna hop in the bag. Just me and my boo in the bag.